like Goblin is really good at like pushing like okay I know my down tilt is really safe versus you I'm gonna abuse that I could down tilt your shield for free and you have to eat a mix up after like that's the kind of stuff that Goblin is really good at so I wouldn't be surprised if he knows that we fit doesn't really have good out of shield options in the front and just abuse like his good frame advantage mm -hmm. all right also the ledge trapping is really strong from from Goblin All right, jab fair, gonna get him off. Let's see what the ledge trap is. This is one of the the key parts of beating numbers. Side B, not gonna kill at 70%. Actually, so we're kind of seeing that uh, yeah. Goblin actually knows where and when to be patient and yeah. just like kind of just spacing out numbers. And like yeah. you see, he's just like kind of respecting him on the ledge and saying like, once you move off the ledge, you will die. Yeah, and I feel like uh oh, oh. After, after like all the stalls number do numbers does to before he grabs the ledge and when he gets to the ledge, his ledge options off of ledge aren't that scary besides lagless header. Mm -hmm. So Goblin's just chilling on a platform waiting for that, and then uh, he he just punishes from there. All right. Ooh. Well, with all that being said, while Goblin is definitely doing a much better job, uh, yeah. it. Numbers was able to do a really good job of just like evening up that percentage before finally losing that stock. Yeah, and this is definitely like kill percent for deep breathing we fit. Yeah. That only did twenty. I say only because <laughs> we fits on the screen. Yeah. Alright. So, you know, right now, uh, Goblin is getting a little bit of extra credit, a little more of that uh, damage on this following stock. Yeah. Um until we get something like real solid, we start seeing around here, you know, 60, 70, 80 damage. If Numbers isn't able to take the stock before that happens, now we're at like a solid lead yeah. for Goblin coming into the next stock. And just taking the first stock in general versus Numbers is really ideal. And that just killed extremely early. Yeah. <laughs> All right, finally going to take it, but now at a yeah. sto an entire stock deficit. Yeah. What you going to do? And, and that's that's why I say uh, Wii Fit has bad out of shield options in the front. Oh, yeah. Because because back air out of shield is really good if you cross her, cross her up. Yeah, absolutely. So you actually want to stay spacing in front of her. Okay. Alright, yeah. He doesn't mind getting the sour hits with Roy because he knows, like, he's going to be at the ledge regardless. No point in, like, committing more than I have to. <laughs> the slight walk, just just to make sure it plays. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just showing off uh, Wii Fit's kind of Roy-esque combos right there. Taking him completely across the stage. Yeah. Almost off stage. All if right. he was able to seal that deal, that would have been a really good uh, position for numbers. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, did not happen for him. Uh, Goblin chilling. Yeah. Just like, Ooh. just threatening. Yeah, and that down tilt is minus four on block, so uh, we Fit will not be able to grab it, and he won't be able to do like pretty much anything. If okay, and that's just gonna be it. Yeah. All right. I really am like the fact that like when we Fit is next to Roy, Goblin's just like, I'm not gonna press the button. You're gonna do something dumb, and I'm gonna take my turn on that one. Mm -hmm. You know. So. Goblin going to be getting rid of uh, FD and Kalos, and uh, Numbers electing to go to PS2. Alright, and this might be a better pick, because the platforms are not directly near the ledge. Mm -hmm. So like, see, like he's showing on the platform, but like, he kind of has to commit a little more. When he when he gets off the platform and 73% three fares coming out. Oh, all right. Probably wants to try and go for a spike there, but he saw the soccer ball, so he just committed back towards the stage. All right, numbers no jump here, but he's probably just gonna grab the ledge for free because no one really wants to deal with numbers off stage. All right. Getting nicked by the soccer ball, not. Obviously not the most ideal thing when Numbers is recovering. Because now he gets to play the game again. And Deep Breathing is online. So this backer is really scary. This F-Tilt. Fully Charged Sun is really 
really scary to close the stock out in the corner right now. Yeah, much more even for Sans. Yeah. Uh, John definitely is like slowing things down in his own way. We saw that Goblin was able to slow it down against yeah. Numbers, but now, now Numbers... I, it, it's like a different kind of ledge stalling, I guess. Yeah, and I feel like Numbers is really stubborn with Lagless Header off ledge right now. Because he took like 20 damage for, for the past two Lagless Headers because Goblin jabbed him out of it and the ball hit him back mm -hmm. too. And he still did it anyways and it worked the third time. Wow, that's our wow. Yeah, I'm actually just surprised that killed. Alright, and once again, a very ideal position to have the stock lead versus numbers. Uh, just, just being able to make him come to you, because usually he likes to throw himself off stage. Barely uh, surviving that up there. Yeah. Numbers had no rage for that to really kill, but was able to get it anyway. Uh, Goblin hanging on the ledge, and Numbers is doing run-up down till. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, I uh, I think Numbers actually plays good from behind, because no one's ready for him to just run at him. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, Weepit is actually, like, pretty fast, so could be annoying to deal with. Ooh. Wow, that did, like, 20 damage because of the soccer ball. Yeah. Soccer ball does more damage the faster it is. Or uh, I don't I'm really know how it works. Sure. <gasps> and that's just gonna kill, yeah. Cross slash. That that's what I'm saying. You have to eat a mix up when uh, Roy down down tilts your shield. That's terrifying. A, a, especially as we fit. So so he was like, okay, you're not gonna roll behind me. You're not gonna jump this time. So I'm just gonna side your shield, yeah. and the last one's gonna poke if I delay it. I I think Goblin's doing a fantastic job that when numbers is on the ledge, like. Uh, even on this different uh, stage, like he's still respecting him. Just he's like, "All right, bro, you got it. Just when you get off, I'm gonna get you." He's like hanging out on that platform, just like, "Yeah, do whatever the hell you want. Throw your ball. It ain't gonna hit me." Yeah. Look, see, he's chilling up there. Yeah. And I this feel like numbers should be like cognizant of that already, and just be like, "Okay, I'm just gonna grab the ledge because like there's no point in just stalling out the game." Unless he wants to, but yeah. like I, I wouldn't really see a reason to. Okay, Gob Goblin guessed on the tech and wanted to see what would happen. Okay, still not gonna be enough. Yeah, a lot of knockback there, gonna send him off. Just chilling, waiting for the sun to pass, waiting for his soccer ball to pass. Wow, yeah. Okay. Just a lot of clean pressure from Goblin. Yeah. Like, he, he basically did what I said he was gonna do before the set even started, just like, Spacing a lot in the front and just making numbers guess because that time he did down tilt, he did jab, and then he read the jump with up tilt, I think. So, mm hmm. Oh no, it was forward tilt and then up tilt. And I don't think you could grab uh, Roy F tilt if, he, if he's like really close to you. 